Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. Summertime and the living is easy, but is the gardening so easy? I would say no, but here to tell us more about a terrific Friends of Benham's Grove event is the president, Sherry Lighty. Hi, Sherry. Hi, thank and, you for having yeah, me. Yeah, and she's brought along Carol Adams, who is a member of this um, Centerville City Beautiful Commission, but also a day lily gardener. So we're glad to have you as well. Thank you. So this event that the Friends of Benham's Grove is hosting is all about day lilies, right, yes. Sherry? In honor of the 50th for Centerville, we are featuring Carol's garden, which she has a lot of day lilies, over almost 400. And, wow. Uh, so in honor of the 50th, we decided to have this free day lily tour and a speaker. And this is really cool because this is something different for yes, the is. friends. And we should mention that the day lily is the city of Centerville's official flower. So mm -hmm. that folds in nicely. And you're doing coffee with a gardener first, yes. right? Uh, no, the it's tour first. The tour first, okay. and then you'll come back. Uh, we're asking the people. We you check in with Bennett's Grove at nine o'clock. You will get a a map, an agenda, and a biography of uh, Carol's garden, and then tour and have a good time, and then come back at ten thirty, and we'll have some refreshments, light refreshments. Yeah. And uh, then at eleven, uh, Sandy Holmes, our speaker, and she has. I forget how many, what, four acres or something? Something like that. Four it's acres huge. of day lilies. Oh, my goodness. And she's a, she and her husband are both hybridizers. Now, explain what that means. That, well, Carol, you're yeah, more Carol, you tell us. Well, that means that they cross um, day lilies to come up with a new day lily. Um, it's a genetic study, basically. Okay. And when they cross them and find one that they really, really like, um, they register it with the American Hemorrhocalis Society, which is the daylily group. Um, they put out a journal, and this is this is the oh, journal. Oh, nice! Four out a year. Um, so daylilies are a popular flower, aren't they? I yes. mean, it oh, seems yes. like people just love them. Yes. There are a lot of gardens in the area. Um, we go to one down in Lebanon, uh, Dan and Jackie Bachman, and. River Bend, which is Mike and Sandy Holmes, and there's Bob Buckner up in Vandalia, and we're getting ready. The uh, what they call the Mecca Tour is coming up when all the gardens in the area are open over the Fourth of July because that's the peak bloom time. Oh, so we're getting ready to peak here, and the, okay, exactly. So the right, week. right after um, the Fourth, then is when the tour is. So you'll, you'll be in peak season, and that's why I told Sherry to come then oh. because peak is usually. Uh, the week of 4th of July and the following week, depending on the weather. Okay. Uh, and all the gardens in the area will be open. Um, so if you Google daylilies, you can find out maps where those gardens are. And if you'd like to see larger gardens than mine, uh, nice. it's, it's really fun. So Sherry, let's walk folks through this. So. Um, it is a free event. Yes, it is. Sponsored by the Friends of Benham's Grove, and the Friends is an all-volunteer organization. Yes, it is. In support of Benham's Grove, right? Right. So you all do, I know, a lot of events um, throughout the year, but this one specifically, if you, um, as we said, it's free, but you should register so that you know how much coffee and snacks to have, right? And Randy <laughs> needs to know how many chairs to set up. Yeah, right. <laughs> or I can't catch a lot of grief. <laughs> so um, I think we have the number on the screen, but um, there are yes. a couple phone numbers that you can call. Uh, 433-2853 or 435-2007 yes. to register. Two of our members are taking reservations and all they're asking is, you know, just just to give us a head count. Right. Right. So, and as we said, it's free, and then you want to um, come to Benham's Grove at 166 North Main Street. That will be on Thursday, July 12th, this coming Thursday. Um, and then you'll have, uh, you'll get your map and your packet, and then you're going to go off and tour Carol's Garden. Right. Now, Carol, you said how many types of daylilies you have? Somewhere between 350 and 400, and okay. I, the neighbor behind me actually has over 400. So the two yards together, and we kind of wow factor. I'm going to say develop yeah. that together, <laughs> yeah. and the neighbors look forward to walking around the corner and, and yeah. And when we say um, you're going to get a map, you're going to go. You're going to stay here in Centerville. I mean, your yes. your home is in Centerville, but correct. Tell us how you got interested in, in daylilies of all flowers. Well, it's really interesting because this lady um, actually started with daylilies, and I had too many trees in my yard to grow daylilies. They need a lot of sun. 
Well, Centerville had a terrible storm back in 2000 that actually became the tornado in Xenia, and it started as straight line winds in Centerville and tore out about six trees in my yard. Ah. And my neighbor looked at me and she said, Carol, you now have sun, you can grow daylilies. <laughs> so she perceived. You're making lemonade, yeah, right? Exactly. So the fun about daylilies is sharing them because as the clumps get large, you need to divide them. And we them. see some of these, so yes. they're gorgeous. Aren't those gorgeous? Um, so she probably has shared, oh, anywhere between 30 and 50. And then in the summertime during the Mecca, she and I visit the daylily gardens and we buy more. <laughs> Um, because so you can't have enough day lilies, You can't right? have enough, right. and my sweet husband um, digs the beds for me. We prepare them with this well, that's lovely. Adding, adding soil. These are actually uh, bed pictures. I do um, just entire beds. We probably have 17 beds, and my husband has done oh, spreadsheets uh, of that's all the day lilies. Now, that's a picture that actually shoots into my neighbor's yard so you can see we've kind of combined mm -hmm. um, it comes down the lot line and then it goes around the back of her yard and then it comes around the back of my yard and all the way around the house so um, oh, yeah. it, it has been a lot of fun she shares and then we go out and buy more and we keep saying oh we've got enough we don't want to dig anymore any more beds, but you go and you see more pretty day lilies. <laughs> but then you go home and you dig more, more yes, beds, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, that is a gorgeous line. But we yeah. have enjoyed beautiful. getting a lot from Sandy Holmes. She and her husband have a beautiful garden. Um, out of, um, they're kind of halfway between Bellbrook and Xenia. And she actually hybridizes for very sturdy plants, very large flowers, lots of ruffles. Um, which are my favorites. Oh. So we have, I bet I have 50 of hers. That's how. So she, she's the um, speaker. Exactly. Once you've toured your garden, then you can come back and, yes. and have some coffee. And Sandy is going to present information about how to grow daylilies and divide them and, and all the daylily tips that, that you hybridizers need to have. Yes. <laughs> so are they easy to divide? Yes, really. Um, Dan Bachman out in Lebanon, he um, has the Valley of the Day Lilies out on, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the road. Um, he's out in Lebanon, and he developed a, it's like a drain shovel, it's a real thin shovel, and you dig up all the way around and lift up the entire clump, and then you can use that drain shovel to take away a section of the day lilies and uh, some of them grow faster than others some don't uh, get larger and others just almost every year you have to divide them so well you know we've we've talked about um, you're both ladies are you're both on the city beautiful commission yes. and of course you helped um, select the tree because we had as we mentioned we had the day lily as our city flower however we did not have a city tree and we've announced that but you ladies can tell us again what the city tree is it's the uh, red horse chestnut, and uh, it's it's a beautiful tree. It is just spectacular when it blooms. It the blooms almost remind you of a pineapple. They are just so huge and so gorgeous. And a bright pink. Yeah. I, yeah, I just yeah. just happen to have one of those trees <laughs> in my day, Lily. You're all about center. I character. know, and I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know until this year. Yeah that the daylily was the city flower and I've had them for 18 years and and my tree's probably 15 years old and lo and behold they make it the center yeah. of the tree. Well, and we were encouraging people to plant plant the red horse chestnut because it's a hardy tree and it's yes. part of the Buckeye family but I'm thinking now we should encourage people too to plant daylilies, day right? Lilies. Right. They're, they're easy, they're you know once you once you know the little basics of daylilies, it's very, they're very easy to grow as long as you have a nice, not over wet or, or a nice spot for in your yard. And they yeah. need lots of sun yeah. is what they I'm learning too. A fair sun. amount of sun, yeah. yeah. And um, really it's like they come back by themselves, you know, they're perennials. So um, you just wait for them to come up and bloom and really, until the last couple of years, not a whole lot of pests, but we've had some difficulty with the Japanese beetles lately. And last year, Sherry even helped me. I had aphids, which I had never had before. But we had had a warm winter, and I mm -hmm. think um, didn't kill off a lot of the bugs. So right. we were able to get rid of those. 
Um, the daylilies still bloom. This year the Japanese beetles are trying to devour them, but they're still blooming. And, and some of these tips we'll get too from when Sandy speaks Sandy as well, speaks, what yes. to do. But I'm just wondering, this oppressive heat right now with any plants, what kind of tips? You're a master gardener, Sherry. I know you can take <laughs> care of all these, but what should people be doing? Uh, just watering at the proper time. Uh, I try to encourage people to water early in the morning because okay. you don't want the uh, the water to sit on the plant over the night because that, that just encourages funguses and diseases. And we have to avoid the disease triangle. So, you know, you just don't give that disease a chance to get started. So just, you know, if you go out there and, and you see that they're limping along a little bit, you know, yeah. in the morning, give them a, a good hydration, water them. Or if you don't have a hydration system, you know, uh, put in a soaker hose. That's, you know, if you can't get out there, that's the easiest way to do it is to have a soaker hose. And, and our daylilies, pretty easy to maintain? Relatively and drought resistant. Yeah. Uh, don't need a whole lot of water. Um, and I've been doing, like Sherry says, I'm running the hose underneath and just letting it, you know, run slowly and, and doing that periodically. But the two showers we got yesterday were were lovely They're and really the lilies are standing up saying thank you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and again, if you wanted to learn more, we want you to go to Coffee with the Gardener. It is on Thursday, July 12th. It's at Benham's Grove. It starts at 9 o'clock and you can call for reservations. You could probably also call Benham's Grove just yes. for more information as well, but we're, we have the number there on the screen. But I have to ask you, Carol, you have two of these notebooks that you've brought that you were yes. saying your husband is cataloging, but tell us, um, I mean, these are some of the the uh, daylilies that folks are going to see, right? Exactly. There are probably, oh golly. 60, you have to hold up a book so we can see okay, it. Okay, yeah. 60,000 different daylilies. Okay. These are the books. <laughs> you have three of them, right? <laughs> well, uh, th this is the computer drawings. My husband has actually done a computer drawing of oh, our okay. hole. And then each bed is, has, uh, he's got, pictures and names because most of the daylilies actually have registered names and we have will have by the time the ladies come we had name tags on all the daylilies but my husband said that they were fading in the sun so oh. last fall we pulled all of them up and he has all new ones that we're putting out this week so if you really like um, a specific flower that you see, you can know exactly what that is and then you can exactly. go and get it. Exactly. Oh, exactly. very nice. And then I have done it oh kind of gosh, as a hobby. Amazing. We actually take a picture of each of each day lily and I have a page um, for each day lily, the name, the hybridizer, when we bought it. Um, and Do they last forever? Day oh, lilies yes. are pretty, uh, yeah. As far as I know, uh, they've lasted, <laughs> You've had them for 18 they've years, lasted so. for 18 years. So, um, yeah, it's so we've turned it into a hobby. Um, and we go out and take pictures even, even though we've had them for 18 years. We go out every day and say, oh, this is the best bloom ever. <laughs> oh, and we take I'm pictures sure. of it. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Yes, yes. And they're all so different. You know, there's, um, th there's eyes and there's edges and... Um, We've even had this year, and I think it's because of the heat, we've had what we call polytepals. Daylilies usually have three uh, petals and three sepals, uh, which are the smaller, okay. smaller petals are called sepals. And this year we've had what we call four by four and five by fives, oh, neat. which means five petals oh, and I five. I see, I think we're showing some yeah, of those. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a wonderful reason why you need to come and see Carol's Garden and take part in the Friends of Benham's Grove event. And it's also a good chance to learn more about the Friends of Benham's Grove because yes. you have a lot of members there as well, right, yes, Sherry? Yes, we do. And uh, welcome anyone that wants to be a part of our group and welcome anyone that wants to be on the board with us. And uh, like I That said, means you, Carol. That yeah. means you, Carol. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it. And well, well, thank you so much, ladies. And for more information, call the city, 433-7151. We'll see you next time.